What's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, definitely appreciate every last one of you. Today we're going to talk about um, the uh, Samsung Galaxy A30. Now the Samsung Galaxy A30 is a really nice device and it definitely has some really cool features that uh, are similar to the ones that you see on the Samsung Galaxy A20 for Metro by T-Mobile. Now one of the things you're going to notice about the Samsung Galaxy A30 is that it does have the um, Echinos uh, octa-core, the 7 octa-core uh, 7904 with two uh, 1.8 gigahertz processors and ARM Cortex A73 plus six 1.6 ARM Cortex A53 processors equaling eight cores all together. Now this thing does have three gigabytes uh, or four depending on what model, but mine has the four gigabytes of internal storage. Uh, I'm sorry, it has uh, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, but and four gigabytes of RAM. Now, it does also have a micro SD uh, card slot for uh, extra storage, and you do get um, a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display, which is definitely sick. Now, this thing comes in at 1080 by 2340 pixels per inch with a 4000 milliamp hour battery with Android 9.0 Pi. And, you know, I definitely think it's pretty cool, like overall. So uh, I immediately just wanted to um, show you guys uh, that it was up to date at July 1st. And uh, actually it was on the June update at, at when I first went ahead and tried to install the system software update. But then immediately when I started using it, like another one came in. So. Um, one of the subscribers had requested that I actually play Cyber Hunter on the channel, so I definitely wanted to go ahead and uh, show you guys and show um, the subscriber what the Cyber Hunter looked like. Now, immediately, it actually um, recommended that we use um, heavy graphics, so it was on the high graphics, and um, one of the things I did notice about the graphics when I was using it on high was that it was actually a little bit... Um, you know like sluggish and it wasn't um the best performing in the world but when i did go ahead and i moved it to like medium graphics and uh you know started using it on the medium uh what i did actually realize was that uh you know this thing definitely started to perform a lot better and um I thought that was definitely pretty cool. Now this thing does have dual SIM card slots for, um, you know, if you wanted to use um, two different slots. It also has, does have five gigahertz Wi-Fi Type C charging 2.0 with Bluetooth 5.0. So I uh, definitely thought that was pretty cool as well. And um, the GPU is an Armali G71 with MP2 and has two cores. So that's actually pretty sick. So this thing definitely has some really nice specs. Uh, it comes in black, white, or blue. The build is basically plastic, but it looks a lot more premium than uh, what you are seeing when you're like at first glance into the naked eye. But uh, you know, I definitely think um, when it comes to gaming, like you won't be disappointed when it comes to like you know like the overall gameplay that you know you're experiencing. But um, you can see like I'm just like trying to actually like compete here in the Cyber Hunter and um, you know like everything is running perfectly fine. So you know we're gonna go ahead and uh, see if we can you know navigate the course and everything like that. But uh, as you can see here like everything is like running smooth you know we want to get a couple kills like definitely for you guys. But uh, it's like 90 degrees in my, my room right now. I'm like, it feels like it's 90. I mean, it's like 80, but I had to turn off the fan so like I wouldn't get like any feedback like on the microphone. So like I'm a little bit like hot right now. So like I do apologize, but this is def this game definitely like feels like, you know, like a little bit sicker than PUBG because you could like do stuff like this, like um, kind of feels like a Fortnite, like a little bootleg Fortnite. Definitely think this thing is sick. So, um, you know, the subscriber who had um, requested that I played this game on um, the A30, 
it definitely plays like really smooth on the A30 so far. Like I didn't experience like any stutters or hiccups or like anything like that. It, it was definitely pretty cool. Like as far as like the gameplay and you know, like everything like that. So when I moved it down from high to medium, I definitely felt the difference like immediately. It just felt way more playable like on the medium. But uh, you could definitely play it on the high, like if you wanted to have like a better visual, you know, like appearance. But like, you know, I think the gameplay actually uh, suffers a bit. Hold on one second. Let me uh, set my brewski. But um, you can see like there's not really much lag here um, from the graphics. Um, you can see right like, we're running with this um this Aquino 7 octa-core 7104 with uh eight cores and this thing definitely feels like a, a snapdragon 450 or something like that it might be it may be if it actually feels like a snapdragon um 620 because it's like it doesn't lag as much as the um 450 so maybe maybe it's like a little maybe it's like a low low end uh 600 series processor but um, you know, it's a little bit better than um, the Snapdragon 450. So I could definitely say that um, the game play and performance on this thing was definitely pretty cool. So like, uh, we're gonna just like uh, show you like you know the full graphics and everything like that. I don't want to like shortcut you guys. I want you guys to experience what I was um actually uh experiencing when i was playing the game and everything like that it was definitely really smooth and um you know i didn't have any issues whatsoever and like so you can see right here um i actually made a mistake because i was trying to um you know like duck an enemy and stuff but like what happened was i got way outside of the um the uh the line the the, the line that you need to you know stay in like the dotted line and everything the white line so, um, you know, I can definitely say that the graphics were um, really smooth and everything like that when I was playing it and, you know, I didn't have any issues whatsoever. Um, now, this thing um, didn't really overheat whatsoever. It was, it's made of plastic, um, you know, so it wasn't overheating like compared to a lot of other devices that like I've been testing, but like, you know, I, I definitely think that the build quality was actually pretty good because, um, you know, a lot of devices that are made of glass are gonna actually crack or, um, you know, the glass is gonna shatter. But um, when you have like a device like this, that's made of this really nice, smooth, silky uh, carbonate, polycarbonate plastic, it's actually not gonna give you that um, same deal if you um, actually slipped out of your hand or anything like that. But I definitely have, um, you know, like the a, a couple of cases for this thing, and uh, you could definitely check those out in the catalog of videos that I made just for you. So, um, you know, right now, like this is basically like the the part where I, you know, definitely died, but um, you can see right here, like uh, the the UI, the interface was really nice. Um, Everything looked really nice as far as the icons. I definitely like the Samsung um, UI. It was definitely really intuitive. You could definitely use this with one hand. And um, it was actually 6.4 inches, um, which was actually pretty cool. So I didn't have any issues with that. Um, you know, it was definitely a nice, um, you know, uh, feel in, in, in the hand pause, you know, like everything felt perfectly fine. The screen was super AMOLED, so that was definitely impressive for this price point. So, you know, honestly, they definitely stepped it up when it came to the A series. You know, I remember back when they had the J series, it was definitely, um, they still had like 720 displays without the AMOLED displays. It was like, uh, you know, they didn't, um, take advantage of it. Um, I remember back then when they had like the J uh, like four or something like that or J five or J it was like one of the lower ones that had the super amulet. Then they just went away from it. But I'm glad that they actually brought 
the A series um, back. And um, the only real difference from this device, the A30, compared to the A20, is that it, it's the same battery. It's the same. Um, you know, you do get Type C charging. You do get 4,000 milliamp hour battery. You do get the 6.4 inch display, but the only thing is you're going to get 32 gigabytes of internal storage with 3 gigabytes of RAM. Now with this device, the A30, you're going to get the 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage. So that, that's one of the better um, things about this one compared to the 20. So, you know, it's more like of a mid-range device compared to... Uh, budget device with the three gigabytes of RAM. So like, I guess when you move from three to four, it definitely switches like um, departments from from the from the entry to the to the mid range level. And uh, you, you you know like for a lot of people, 32 isn't enough. So having the double of that like 64 is definitely comes in handy. And then I, they did actually include like a SIM card inside of the box for 64 extra gigabytes of internal storage. So I definitely thought that was actually pretty cool. But um, thank you guys for watching. Um, definitely appreciate every last one of you. Um, I definitely enjoy using this device. Um, tell me if you want to um, see more videos just like this uh, about the 830. You can see right here with the, um, the navigation on the fingerprint, you can actually mess around with use the toggles and everything like that. But peace, later crew, it's your boy Serrano. Make sure you stay locked in and you know, check out the next video. But have a great morning, afternoon, evening, depending where you are. Have a great night, stay locked in crew, peace, later.